Yo, what's going on dudes? It's Mitch Orbage and Canadian here. Welcome to something that I don't normally do. This is a Minecraft snapshot coverage video. So if you want to see more of these in the future, I really need your help, your love, your support, your positive vibes here. So click the like button, slam it right now. Take just two seconds out of your day. That's a one, that's a two. It really does mean a lot if you can click that thumbs up. And please let me know in the comments section if you want to see me cover these as well in the future. Because they are a lot of fun to look through and see all the new things that are coming to Minecraft's latest version. So here we are in the snapshot. The first thing we're going to dive into is colors. The beautiful new colors in this snapshot. So they've changed the colors of wool, stained glass, stained clay, sheep, and banners. Anything you can change the color of, they've gone ahead and adjusted the values of them to make them a lot brighter and more saturated. Here are a couple of my favorites. We've got orange, light blue, magenta, yellow, lime green, and cyan. I've also got a before and after little image here that I've borrowed from another awesome YouTuber who does a lot of great snapshot coverage videos, Exuma Void. So shout out to him. Check out his videos as well. You can kind of see how they look before and after, which is really, really nice. So yes, that is the first and foremost thing that has changed in this snapshot. Next up, we got more blocks for you. So let's go ahead and dive into this chest. I need some sand, need some gravel, and some colored dyes of choice, as well as some water buckets, because we're going to be making ourselves some powdered concrete and then turning into solid concrete. So what you're going to need to do is open up a crafting table, and you can craft like this with four gravel and then four sand, and then you put your dye in the center. You're going to get yellow concrete powder like that, or you can even change the pattern and do the gravel in the cross format and the sand on all the outer corners, and then go ahead and throw your dye in the center again. It doesn't matter how you place them. There's our red dye, and we'll go ahead and we'll do some lime green as well just to wrap this little segment up bam there we go lime green concrete we got them yellow we got them red we got them lime green and then if we take water and dump it on top you can see that these dongers change the water hasn't flown on this yellow one yet so it hasn't changed into this nice completely solid color block and bang there it is we got a yellow one now and let's go ahead and build a tower out of these just to share how it looks when you do that as well Bring the yellow guys up as well. We got McDonald's. Yellow and red, just like that. Ketchup and mustard. Hoo hoo hoo, baby. And we'll get a little green on top to play it safe. Now, one thing to keep in mind about the powdered concrete is it actually acts like sand and gravel, hence why it's made out of that. You place it and it drops. It falls to gravity. And once it's hard, it will not. As you can see with this one, it didn't drop. So I'll put more water here and here. And we'll go ahead and we'll start stacking this up. And you'll see that it just gets rid of the block and it stops immediately where it transforms into the hard concrete. So we got more fun blocks there with the second part of this snapshot. Now follow me down here to my chest again because we're going into the third part of this snapshot and you wouldn't have guessed it. But we got more epic blocks. But this time, we have the most epic blocks visually added to Minecraft since, in my opinion, quartz and chiseled quartz and all that. We're going to grab ourselves some of our stained clay out of this chest. We've got lime, yellow, and magenta hitting up the furnace. If you go and smelt this, it'll output glazed terracotta blocks, which have epic patterns on them. All kinds of really cool things. So let's just see how it looks here in the furnace. There is the lime one. I'm going to switch it up for yellow. Let's just place that down. We can make all kinds of wicked patterns with it. So it actually is a directional block, meaning based on where you place it, the pattern will display differently. So if we were to go in a perfect circle like this, it kind of looks like a lime right there. And then if we did it in the opposite direction, we're going to have like this funky, oh, I messed that up, didn't I? We're going to have this funky star made out of it. So you can see that the patterns will change based off of the direction you place the blocks down. And you can stack them up too. And you can try to be cool when you stack them. See if you can make some patterns out of it. There we go. We got, well, we got halfway and then we, we messed it up. But you get the idea. You could do all kinds of really cool stuff with this. Here's the yellow one. Let's go and check out magenta as well. Ooh, this one looks nice. It's like a, it's like a sun. Let me go ahead and make a sunflower out of this real quick. Bam, bam. Bam. Oh, wait, watch that one up. Bam. Bam. There we go. Looking good. And if we reverse that flight pattern, we're going to go ahead and get ourselves something also beautiful. There it is. Mm, magnificent. Absolutely stunning. So, yes, this update of this snapshot is all visual. There's so many. Check it out. Literal clickbait in Minecraft. You can put arrow blocks to point at things now. That is really, really 
really freaking cool. And I'm going to go ahead and show you them all really, really quick. Let's go through creative and let's search glazed. And you can see all of them in here. I'm going to try and place them all down for you to see. So let's grab some of the white, some of the orange. We already did magenta, light blue. We did yellow, we did lime, pink. We got gray, we got light gray, we got cyan. Oh my gosh, the cyan looks like Tron. Purple, blue, we gotta remember to go back to brown afterwards. Let's just throw some of these. Check it out, it's like diamonds. Diamond minecart in Minecraft. He's back, that is so cool. Check this out, purple, bam. Is this a sword? It looks like a freaking sword, that is sick. I'm gonna see if I can make a little pattern out of these guys. Look at that, look at that, that is so cool. Cyan, let's try and be uh, good about how we place these ones. Bam. And bam, nice little pattern there. We got light gray coming up. Let's just throw some of these down. These are so cool when you see them in game. I can see some really, really epic builds coming out in the near future thanks to this snapshot. Light blue, oh baby, it's like ice, ice, baby. Orange, look at this. We can make a flower. Let me make a flower real quick. Bang, 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 bang. Oh baby, look at that guy. And the white. Let's check out the white real quick. I like to get that rotate on so we get some nice symmetry going. Again, it looks like a flower. A lot of these end up looking like flowers just because of the way uh, the symmetry works out. Let's go back to glaze. And we are on to brown. So we need brown. We need green. We need red. And we need black. Black looks like it would be really cool when you combine that with bedrock and obsidian and stuff like that. Or maybe even coal blocks. Placing this bad boy down, you can see the brown ones. Very nice. Has a little blend of cyan. Going for green glazed. Has some white blended in as well. Very cool. Red. Red's got a nice swirl to it. This looks kind of like the Akatsuki red. Uh, red. This kind of looks like the Akatsuki clouds from Naruto uh, when I first placed these down. That's what I'm thinking of right here. Just goes straight to my head right there. A little anime throwback. And the black terracotta. Whoa, this thing looks cybernetic. That is really, really freaking cool. I, I like it. I can work with this. I can work with these new building blocks. And that's where we're going to wrap up the new aesthetic building blocks portion of the new snapshot here on Minecraft. And now let's go ahead and jump into a survival world and show you guys what the other final feature looks like. Alrighty, and the last bit of the snapshot for today here. I saw some other YouTubers and I think they might have missed this feature. It's kind of tricky to find. It's not in any of the log posts, kind of an Easter egg, I guess. Is if you're holding the rabbit foot, Mojang has finally added an update for this. So if you take damage, I'm just taking some fall damage, for example, it'll actually summon in a villager ambulance of sorts to, uh, to heal you up. This only works when you're playing on easy and you hold the rabbit's foot while you take some fall damage. So really cool little update there too. And that is gonna do it for this video here. I know this is something different for my channel. Thank you all very much for watching. Again, if you enjoyed this one, please click the like button. It really means a lot. Let me share with you the ambulance feature once more because it is one of the coolest ones they've added in a very long time. Here it is. Help is on the way. No, you can't get me, dude. No, okay, you got me busted. And if you enjoyed it, like I said, click the thumbs up button. Maybe consider subscribing if you're new. And should I cover more snapshots in the future like this one? This was a lot of fun. Like I said, I don't do this normally, so I need your input on the video if I should do these again. And that is it. My name is Mitch, or Beijing Canadian. Thank you all for watching, and goodbye.